Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This Vulcan Report is for trading on June the 2nd, Thursday, 2016. You're looking at a chart now of Apple, Apple stock. As you can see, uh, the market has some trouble as it bounced off the um, first trend line resistance and is heading back down again at 98.46. As you can see, momentum is starting to point down and we're still in a downward channel in this. We have overhead resistance at 106.72 and right now the market is trying to fight um, to, to get back above this short term trend line here, the purple line and right now it's having a hard time doing it. I don't see that uh, happening and uh, we see more downside coming within the next um, next few days here. Taking a look now at Amazon. Amazon as you can see it's trying to lock in even though it is overbought and we just uh, hit a new high of 726.43. Uh, market is well supported at 625.95 and remains in a powerful uptrend as you can see here and I expect uh, higher prices on this one within the next three to five days. Looking now at coffee in the commodities market. We see overhead resistance at 135.04 and the market currently trading at 122 on the close and the upward trend line resistance here is at 127.69 as this market is still pretty much flat to nothing going on here. Still in a, in a well-defined uh, downtrend overall trying to bounce off of almost going into a support so this market still has more downside to go it's not oversold in any stretch of the imagination it's just waffling around here in a range but I see uh, sideways to lower prices uh, continuing in this market as well take a look now at crude oil crude oil at 4895 uh, this market as you can see momentum is coming off uh, so it's it's out of that overbought status, but it's still in the Kumo cloud, even though it's a narrow one, trying to break and close above 49 to get back into the 50 handle. And on this one, even though the overall picture is still in a downtrend, we still are in retracement mode, very very much so. And this market is well supported at 39.62 and I expect uh, higher prices within the next three to five days. All right, looking at uh, the Dow futures, as you can see, this market's well supported at 17407 and the market is struggling to get back above 18,000. That's going to be the test in this market as momentum is starting to come off. Uh, the market remains well supported here uh, like I said you can see here we have a nice cross upward here but we still could have room to pull back a little bit more before retesting the 18,000 so I'm gonna say sideways to slightly higher prices within the next three to five days looking at the uh, e-mini S&P 500 futures this market is well supported at 2035 and a half and just like in the Dow this market is trying to get back above 21 if we can get above 21, then we're looking at uh, much higher prices coming in this one. Market is overbought and it is in, a, in the process of trying to lock in on the upside. So on this one, uh, we do see um, some sideways to higher prices also within the next three to five days. And everything's going to be contingent in the, on the financial sector as far as what happens this Friday with the Fed and uh, as they're going to be taking a look at uh, unemployment and see see how that that jives out looking now at Facebook Facebook is momentum is down momentum is bearish on this one even though this chart is bullish as you can see light volume coming off of a holiday uh, the market remains well supported at 107.90 uh, this one's going to try to break that 121.08 high uh, I do see sideways to higher prices in this one within the next three to five days as well. All right, looking at feeder cattle. Feeder cattle is in a, a well-defined downtrend. Uh, resistance remains at 156, and we just we're just coming off of this new low of 138.57 and a half, and you can see it's still in a downward slope. Uh, on this one, I still see more downside to come. We are not oversold 
and it still has more room to the downside to run looking at GLD GLD as you can see is, is in a nice defined downtrend now coming off these this previous high here and momentum is oversold right but not just ready to turn up yet that's the thing about it we have to watch this one to see it could turn up from here but it could be a weak turn and instead of a sharp one like we had back here all right we had a sharp turn up we're not seeing that so far in this one this market remains um, uh, resistance is, 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 is strong at 123.61 and right now this market is about to test this trend line support here uh, right below that 115 so uh, this will be one to watch and you can see the downward sloping uh, the short term trend line that's that's not good uh, as that crosses below the purple line here that then pushes the purple line down and then that will cause that to cross below the orange line and creating a new bear trend to the downside or reestablishing the old trend here so this this one looks very bearish right now all right looking at the gold futures same thing all right this will be the fifth week the fifth down week if we close down here market is oversold trying to lock in same scenario happening here 1200 is what we're trying to respect the market can stay above 1200 <clears throat> like I've been saying for weeks now that 1200 should be the strong support then the market can stand a chance to recover what will happen is this will come it can still cross below it but instead of causing this one instead of pushing down on this trend line this purple one it smooths out flattens out and then comes back out again so that's the scenario you want to see if you are bullish on gold you don't want to see it close below 1200 looking at Google or Alphabet uh, 734 is where we finished out at and this mark is well supported at 675 26 and as you can see we're in overbought status but the market's trying to lock in and get a get a run started here to get back above 750 I do see sideways to higher prices within the next three to five days in this one looking on now to um, lean hogs in the futures 81 12 and a half market is an upward thrust but nothing's really playing out just yet once you get back above the high of this bar here and head toward 90 I do see that um, happening here in this market uh, we'll give this one three three to five weeks to to happen so this one remains well supported and I see upward price momentum coming on this one all right, next one here is Netflix. We have we have upward overhead resistance at 107.92. Market's trying to make a run for it. The momentum is coming off though, so we may be able to scratch it. But it's looking weak, like it wants to go back down. Technically speaking, we are pulse waving negative, as you can see here. But we're not really following through. But we could start if we start to break down here in this Kumo cloud of death. We could break down below the cloud but I think the market wants to make a run and break out of it it's gonna be hard to hard to do because we have all this action back here here and here and we're still technically in a downtrend all right so we'll have to see how this one plays out this one I see sideways prices I don't really see a breakout just yet out of the Kumo cloud the market will have to prove us wrong and choose a direction right now we don't have a direction all right looking at the Nasdaq futures uh 45 22 and a half this one is bullish trying to get ready to lock in even though it's overbought wants to make a run at the 46 handle and it's gonna have a tough time doing it so this one i see flat to sideways prices as well um but i think it's gonna try to make a run higher we'll see if it can get some um some momentum behind it right now we don't have any and looking at the qqq or cubes 110.35 and well supported at 104.81 this market is flat look at the trend lines that are just stretched out here sideways overbought 
trying to lock in something, trying to get something going once they head toward 115. I think it could be successful, again, if we can get some momentum behind it. Moving right ahead now to silver futures. Again, fifth week down. If it closes down like this, this will be the fifth week. It's getting dangerous. It's flirting dangerously right now with uh, being below 16. We're at 15.96 half. Cannot close there. We we do we cannot have successful clo uh, successive closes below 16. Market needs to be well supported at this 16 level. We are in the oversold scenario where the market could bounce from here. Or it could try to lock in like it's looking like it wants to do and it wants to get busy and break below this trend line. Not a good thing because the, the, the further we get into the Kumo cloud, you know, we wishy-washy back and forth in here. But until we break out or down below it, we're trendless. So right now we are trendless, but the bias to the downside in this one is markets fighting for its life. Overhead resistance remains at 1798 SLV overhead resistance 1701 same scenario here flattening out but momentum is to the downside oversold but could be trying to lock in something here not looking good want to stay above this $15 handle looking at soybeans soybeans is benefiting off of a weaker dollar um, and you can see it's well supported at 1028 uh, and a quarter this market wants to run up and get up to to, tw to twelve dollars and we could see beans in the teens uh, if this kind of momentum keeps up we could be there uh, within the next couple of weeks locked in we are totally locked in on the upside new bull market forming in the beans beans are well supported like I said at 1028 looking at the spiders you see here 210.27 Marcus well supported at 199.75 and it's trying to make a run up toward the 215 handle overbought but in the process of trying to lock something in and looking at sugar future sugar future 1734 Marcus well supported at 1592 and it's an upward slope momentum's coming off though but still remains bullish and the dollar index stuck in the Kumo cloud of death well supported though at 9227 directionalist momentum's coming off it's really not doing anything right now it's just flattening out in the Kumo cloud of death we need a break out above it or a break down below it before we can even see what this market wants to do it doesn't have a direction just yet it's dead in the water 9542 I'm thinking though as long as it can stay above 95 though this market still has a bullish upward bias to it as the Fed will not allow this market to die. That's all I have time for now so remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered remember to take what you can and give nothing back and thank you for your continued support of the Vulcan Report and also for our documentary that's ongoing called There Is No Collapse. And I think that these charts that I just finished showing you pretty much proves that. In addition to that, be on the lookout for um, our fifth installment, part three, coming up.